Good morning folks, Lee, Pit Village Trader. Have you been along to pitvillagetrader.co.uk yet? If not, get yourself along there where you'll find more videos and more information about how you can earn a tax-free income in the UK and possibly earn enough income to leave that job that you hate so much. I have an interesting one today because something very interesting happened uh, yesterday on one of our positions as you know uh, we have had a position a long position actually we had two long positions in an entertainment one uh, since uh, the 22nd of May which was on this position here we entered here uh, we doubled down here and then yesterday we were stopped out of that position uh, to the tune of some roughly roughly £1,100. Now, interesting story here. This is, this is, I still believe that this is a long, it's a, um, it's a share price that will go up. In actual fact, I have one of my junior ICEs invested in this stock, which I m may or may not show you at some point. Um, but this position dropped 16% yesterday on a bit of news that turned out to be false. So <laughs> yesterday the share price dropped 16% and stopped me out um, because there was some news articles that appeared yesterday. Let's have, I mean, just look, Entertainment One. News for yesterday. 16 hours ago right so this was in the middle of the day it was about 10 o'clock in the morning um mark gordon that's the ceo of or the president of entertainment one um, mark gordon i first published on variety mark gordon is in talks to exit his role entertainment one as president and chief content officer of film then uh, a few other places ran the report in the meantime the share price dropped 16 percent and now today, Entertainment One have responded to press speculation to confirm that Mark Gordon continues to be a part of the entertainment team now, both now and in the future. And this morning, this position gapped up about 16%. So had you had a position or been smart enough and quick enough to hold this position yesterday, hold through this, um then you would have been up some 50, 60 points in a single day. And the reason why I'm highlighting that is because yesterday I was stopped out on this crazy, crazy spike down. And then today the price has almost recovered back to its current price. So despite, in, act, in actual fact, despite the price not really changing that much, I being stopped out of that position because the news and the cycles and everyone that's connected and hooked into all of these things um, got afraid yesterday and basically cashed out all of that all of that money. Um, so it, it's kind of a, it's an interesting story because actually I'll have a look at the volume. Yeah, so the volume it wasn't even that great in comparison to what it had been in you know, in previous, yes, there was some heavy volume, but I mean, not in comparison to back in April when we had this little thing. So it just, it's an interesting thing. Now, my um, skeptical mind here could be saying, well, who, who started this? Who shared this story? I mean, let's think about this. This is, this is about money, right? It's about, it's about money insider trading possibly but this this cynthia littleton right she was the uh reporter who reported on this this was yesterday morning so it comes from a source close to the situation observed they were unhappy together Entertainment is said to be pushing Gordon out after it became clear that he was ill-suited to the role. It 
It's still unclear if Gordon will have any ties to E1 as a producer, although a source said there was hope that Gordon could shift into a creative focus role while turning more management duties over to Peter Michelli. Right, so who is the source? And it goes on that Gordon is leaving 18 months after he was promoted to president. <coughs> so. It's just an interesting story. And, you know, the, the, the skeptical mind, the cynical mind thinks... If you could release a story, it's an exclusive story, right? So if you could approach a journalist and give them some information that you knew would reduce that price by 16% in a single day, how would you use that power? So that's that's the the point that I'm making here, and it's not I mean I'm not claiming anything, I'm not stating anything i'm not making any allegations i'm just saying this is what happened on a single news article that came from a, a source close to the situation if you can move share price by 16 percent with something like that i mean it's just crazy it's crazy so that that's one of the risks of being in a market um and and, and being and trading anything uh, you've always got that news risk, but then of course that is, uh, you know, unless you knew that was going to happen, you would have had no foresight to predict that anything like that was going to happen. So all you have to go on is recent price action, and it is suggestive in this case because we did have a big uh, sell-off here, another big sell-off here. Um, I was always, uh, you know, I still am currently you know feeling that this is a strong share there's still some strength in this share however i would now be very cautious going back into this position because whether this story is true or not people are afraid at this price point um and that's why we had this huge huge sell off so it was it's just an interesting little story uh you know something to be mindful of it doesn't matter about the news you can't predict these things so to, even if you were the best trader fundamentals whatever you would have had no way of knowing that this was going to happen unless you were that person that was the source for this story so that that just it highlights the risk but it also highlights the the pointless nature of trying to understand and predict news and events i mean i say pointless nature there are limits to what you can foresee in the future. You know, no one has that crystal ball. And this could, any anyone at any time could release a story like this about any share price and it will come completely out the blue, no matter how strong the fundamentals of that company are. So be mindful. But that's also why it's important to have those stops in place. I always run wide stops. I run wide stops to avoid volatility. Um... Uh, because sometimes, especially with spread betting, you can get those extra slippage in share price that can stop you out of a position early. So I always run wide stops. So the fact that this share price dropped so much that it hit that stop, it's just very interesting. It's an interesting situation. So anyway, that's all I'm saying. Um, I would tend to be cautious for now with this one because we've had we, do, we regardless of the reason why as i say i'm not getting too involved in the news i trade by looking on weakness in a share so whether that story is true or not if people believe it's true this will happen so on my assessment now of this stock i would be cautious being long in this position now and in fact i would actually be tempted to short it at this point um but it's still too early for me because this is still a bit raw, uh, what's going on here. Um, however, I would be tempted to short on this position now because, you know, if it can move that much in a day on a single unauthorized uh, news item, then there's something afoot. Um, so that closed out. Uh, I did open a, a few more positions yesterday, which I think think i made a video on i can't actually remember now uh john lang group uh jupiter fund management let's have, just have a look at the chart john lang 
Uh, why did I get into John Lang? Because we had this. So since um, the first of February two thousand and nine, the share prices had a six point one, six point two percent increase in value. That means there is some, there is some strength here. If we go back further, we can see that there's a longer period of strength in this share. So on yesterday, when I did open this position, we had this unusual gap down, um, which is more than what uh, it had experienced, and I believe i you know i saw that as an overreaction um the share price is still strong so i jumped in there in a long position and that position is now showing a very small profit jupiter fund management this one is an, a very interesting one because for those of you that like to trade reversals and look for patterns that indicate something is about to change I would suggest this could be one of those positions and in actual fact I would think that spread betting is probably not the best medium to invest in this stock. I would be tempted to uh, move some of my ISA stocks and shares into this stock now um, based on the, the, the pattern that I'm the price action that I'm seeing here. Um, that weakness, so if we go back to the February 2009, that weakness that existed in this share, which saw it run all the way down here, now appears to have gone. And there's a slow, a slow but sure increase in strength uh, in this share. So I am long, but I anticipate that this might be a long term return to some kind of positive trend. And if we just look at that on the wider scale, this is what we're looking at. Very, very weak here from uh, 2017 all the way down to 2019. But we do seem to have some strength there now. So because, you know, it seems to be trading within this range at the moment. It's either going to break up or it's going to go down. Um, the, the potential for me is greater on the upside and that's why i've decided to go long in this position but it's a long-term thing if you have an isa i would recommend buying shares in that i would recommend considering buying shares in that stock now and then the final one was john wood group which i took a short position on why did i take a short position because since at least october 2018 We've had weakness in the share. We've had a few efforts of strength, a few short, sharp bursts of strength, but resistance and all of this other kind of stuff, sentiment generally is less favorable for this share. So I got in there, my first position, I then doubled down um, when the position started to, when it fended off. So why did I get in there? Because we had a little bit of a boost, but I believe the trend was still going down and there was more weakness than strength in the share. So then I got in after this little boost. And uh, as soon as the position started to head in my direction, so two days running in the direction that I want to go, I placed my second trade and we're sitting now on 180 pound profit. So that's that's a day's, day's work, guys. That's, you know, for actually, it, what happened was on, on, it is now, what day is it now? It's um, Thursday. So on Tuesday night, I scanned all of the stocks and shares. I checked the market to see which share prices had had evidence of price action in that market session. Um, I looked at those that had moved up. So when the, when prices move, there's some volume, there's something happening. Um, so on the Tuesday night, I made a list of th these three shares, John Lang Group, Jupiter Fund Management, and John Wood Group. I must have looked at about 10 or 12 shares. It took me no more than an hour, I would say, to go through that. And then the first thing on Wednesday morning, I placed all my positions, and we're now in Thursday, and the total on all of those positions, if we, you know, count um, the two profits, if I was to close them out now, it will be £200. So it'll be £200 for an hour and a half's worth of work. Does that sound like a good amount to you? Um, you know, what? what's your day rate? Uh, what's your hourly rate? £200 an hour is, seems like a good rate to me. On that note, that is not what we do. I don't trade quickly. I don't trade these short short bursts. Um, you notice in the position that we closed out earlier on in the week, um, 
I'm just going to pull up my history so you can see. And I want 30 days. <clears throat> there you go. So, oh, wait a minute. I need a bigger, I need to see them all. I need to see them all. Yeah, so these are positions. Um, yeah, so you notice this one here, key group, the way I trade, where we made £2,100. As soon as something goes in my way, as soon as something heads my way, I tend, that was another one, Wiz Air Holdings, that was the first one we made when we opened the account, and you know the first one that we made, which we held for... Um, how long did we hold that one for? I can't remember how long we hold it for. It was no more than a a week or so, I would think. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say there before I got sidetracked uh, was it's not the way I like to trade. A small one there. Uh, it's not the way I like to trade. I like to... I like to... As soon as something goes my way, I like to hold for as long as I can. So until there is a clear sign that that share price has gone against me, then I like to hold on to it. Uh, the only reason why we closed down key group was because there was a limit in place and you'll see there's limits in place on these as well. I'll leave the limit in this one because I do actually want to get out when it reaches that amount, if it reaches that amount because there's not much room for movement. Excuse me, there's not much room for movement at that share price. Um, so you could, you know, once this is not, what i'm saying is it's not really going to go further than you know that kind of level i mean if so it's, it's, a, it's a small position which i will get out of um in a little while uh because there's no, the share price doesn't have much room to move because it's only 132 points in total um whereas these are all several hundred points so in a single day you could move 20 or 30 points and make 300 pound a day as you saw from um john wood group you wouldn't get that kind of movement from stagecoach group because the 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 price is just not as high so there's there's a much more upside in these share prices here than what there is in something here so i will be closing this one out soon um yeah so the way we do it the only reason why key group closed out was because i had a limit in place um which i mistakenly left in there which i mistakenly left in there I'll just move all my others and that's why it closed out had we not had that limit in place that position would have actually made an extra thousand pound um in an actual fact so this is where we got out we got out at um where did we get out I need to have a look at this again. I do apologize. I can't remember everything. Um, key group, we got out at 220, 223. Okay, that's when those positions closed. So had we not had those limits in place, we would still be in this position at 220. Let me just see where we are now. So 220, we were limited out here, right? So when the market opened that day, on the gap down, that's where we got out. Since then, there's another 70 points. I was in that position for £20 a point. So that would have been £1,400. So that position right now, had those limits not been in place, would be sitting on... Uh, £3,500 in profit. And that's why we run our winners as long as we can. And how does that sound for a salary for a month? You know, £3,500. That's £1,500 tax-free income for you, for you, for your for your living expenses. And then £2,000 back in your account to invest and continue to invest. So that was the mistake I made with Key Group. Uh, I hope it's an illustration. We can't do anything about the entertainment one thing, the craziness that happened yesterday. That's just one of those losses that you have to take. Um, yes, it was a thousand pound loss. It's 
you know, it, it just it it's just one of those things that happened. Um, we close that one down now, and we sit in our positions here. Uh, the next one I would think that's gonna uh, become fruitious for us is the Evraz position, um, uh, which we have first got in here. We then doubled down here, and we then continued to add here, which is why we are now sitting on a profit of six hundred and twenty pounds. Now, there's, I've just removed the limits, and I will hold that as long as I can, and we, we'll see where that goes. And we've obviously we invested in all of these other things as well. So yeah, um, that's a little bit of a rundown, a little bit of an interesting one today. I hope that's useful, and I hope it reminds you that you can never, ever, ever, no matter how good you are, predict what's happening in the future. That is a reason to have stops in place, and it's also a reason to not bother with the news because it doesn't matter anyway. And also a cautionary tale, don't have limits in place if you believe that that share price is going to run through those limits. And yeah, that's all for now, folks. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, see, learn more about how I trade, see some more examples, uh, follow along on any of my courses or videos that I've got available, then visit pitvillagetrader.co.uk where you can see all of this. I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. It's absolutely gorgeous outside today. So go outside, enjoy yourself, and we will catch up tomorrow. To all folks, be happy and trade well. Cheers. Bye.